After Governor Northam rejected Mayor Stoney's request for a modified phase one, what Richmond is going to see is what other areas that are already in it have been through. But Mayor Stoney is asking for a few extra precautions from some people. Meanwhile, businesses are welcoming the news as it will allow them to get to back to some sense of normalcy. We are super excited to start doing what we do again. The reaction from John Taxon as he prepares for phase one Friday, which will allow his restaurant, Old Original Bookbinders, to seat customers on the patio at 50% capacity. Taxon says they've spent thousands to get ready. Putting in tents, the tents are going to be installed uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, I have an electrician coming to make sure that we have fans under the tents so it doesn't get too hot. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney says while the city's percentage of positive tests remain flat, other metrics, including enhanced testing and tracing, and the governor's new mask requirement will allow the city to begin a cautious reopening. This pandemic is not over by any stretch of the ma ma your imagination. Other changes under phase one include salons and barbers opening to appointments and places of worship opening at 50% capacity. While entertainment venues and gyms remain closed, but the latter can hold outdoor classes. Stoney had requested a modified phase one from Governor Ralph Northam, but was rejected. The mayor wanted to keep restrictions on places of worship, but with that now not an option, he recommends they continue to operate virtually. If you choose to gather in person, I strongly recommend you do so outdoors while practicing strict social distancing. Officials also ask restaurants seating people to log each person's name and phone number. They say this is voluntary and needs approval from the patron, but add it will help them with contact tracing if needed. I would like to have the ability to see whether or not if someone were to be a contract COVID-19 that I think it's good for the public to know the people who may have entered those establishments. Put the cover on the plate. Taxon says it's a fair request and one he intends to follow. The biggest thing is to, if anything does happen, to catch it the second it happens and not let it snowball and get worse. Now, Stoney also adds that even though we are entering phase one, we are not out of the woods and asks that all Richmonders follow the guidelines for phase one and comply with Governor Northam's new mask order. As he says, he doesn't want to see another spike in cases that may have them having to consider whether to go back to phase zero.